Hey everybody, here we are back again, looking at the Kickstarters I've backed, starting with, at the very beginning. Um, I forgot to mention this last time, but we're going to be looking at five gaming-related projects every time, and then one like bonus project that's fun or weird or interesting. So, yeah, I guess uh, let's get to it. Okay. There's my page. And the first one we have is Ancient Terrible Things, which was actually like a second printing or something. It says second edition, mm. but I don't know, a second printing. That's a fun which, game. Which included the uh, expansion. Yeah, this is one of my favorite games. We haven't played it in a while. Um, I've definitely played it without you mm. um, more recently. Um, it was $42 for, and it was some sort of an early bird. Oops, some sort of early bird it looks like. Mm. Because I said there was 50 available mm, at that see. price. You got the special deal for... Yeah, I guess because I was in there early on it. Um, I'm scrolling the wrong thing here, of course. Hmm. Um, yeah, so that's basically like a dice rolling game. King of Tokyo style, where you're trying to overcome these little uh, weird challenges that are on the side of the mm -hmm. board. Like you're going down the river, encountering weird stuff. Eldritch things. Um, and I, you know, and I think they might even be working on a third edition at this point. Okay. So I don't know if I'll need that or not. But it says reprint and minor update of the base game. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it wasn't much of a second edition. I think it was probably just an, a reason to bring it back out, and then like they threw mm -hmm. the expansion in there. Mm -hmm. That's a good reason to you know make Kickstarters just have an expansion. Yeah, or or just to you know if it was out of print to bring it back. Mm -hmm. But even like a mini expansion to bring that Kickstarter back to get previous people. Yeah, which I think actually they did do that. There's like there is a mini expansion. We'll see that down the road somewhere. <laughs> but this was this was like the bigger expansion anyway. Um, yeah, it's a fun game. Roll dice. I really like the art. Um, I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. All right. Apparently, a lot of a lot of positive reviews here. Including from Tom Basil. Very interesting take on the dice genre. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's the dice genre. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, it, this is a company that's in South Africa, too. That's, oh, really? That, that's what's interesting about this, yes. Hmm. They don't make many games if they've only made a few. So, yeah. Ancient Terrible Things is one of my favorite games. It's very fun. Um, the next one is not a game, but it's dice. Oh, yeah. We use those for Eldritch. Yes, Mario. I love these dice. <laughs> these dice are awesome. <laughs> Um, self-designed custom dice for binary resolutions, such as in Arkham or Eldritch based Lovecraftian horror games. Very carefully worded. Yes, I know. Uh, decent amount of money here. Came from Canada, it looked like. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it was like 19 can Canadian. And we have like a ton of them. Yeah. Yeah, because we usually have a set amount for in uh, every yeah. player, and then we just borrow if we need it, if somebody somehow gets extra dice. Right. So uh, the idea, I think, behind this guy's story was so that, like, you know, because you're looking for, like, fives or sixes, but then if you're blessed or cursed, you're looking for a different number, so that he mm -hmm. wanted to design, like, a die that showed, you know, if you're not blessed, if you're blessed, or if you're cursed. Then that makes sense. Um, and they work really well. I like these dice a lot. They look cool. Mm -hmm. They're big and they're colorful, so it's easy to like just roll. And look, there's a little video even. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they do have the numbers on them if you're looking for like number type uh, type results. If you have to roll a specific number to do something. Yeah, it's weird that they're called cuckoo dice. I never really think that they're called cuckoo dice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But yeah, these dice are awesome. I mean, we use them in every game of Elder Tour that we play. Mm -hmm. And lose. Well, we've won once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, the next one is Click Clack Lumberjack uh, 2.0, 2 but it's... I didn't realize that you that was a Kickstarter. It was a Kickstarter, <laughs> yeah, believe it or not. But but it's weird, right? Because it says includes the best of TikTok, Wood, TikTok Woodman and Bling Bling Gemstone. So it's like somehow like the third iteration of this. I think yeah. I think talk or talk talk Woodman was like the Korean edition, and I bling bling gemstone might be the same right. way. But, but they tried to bring it back at one point, like lately, and there was controversy. Yes, because I think it's the same company, I believe. Um, right, with like without the designer's input or input or permission, I think. Yeah. So and I think it, I think that got shut down. Yeah, I think they brought tried to bring it back to Kickstarter. Um, mm -hmm. That was twenty two bucks. And it says twenty two bucks and pay no extra shipping. That's 
crazy. That is unheard of now. There's a lot of plastic in that game. Yeah, there um, is. Yeah, so let's see here. The neoprene playmat. Do we have that? We do have that. Do we? Yeah, it's rolled up in the box. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We um, actually fit it inside yeah, the box. Oh, look, there are their videos taken down. Hmm. <laughs> That's not a good sign. No. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, here's the video. You, you stack up this stupid tree. With the bark. And yeah, you know, and you're trying to hit hit it with that little plastic axe and knock the bark off. The bark off, right? Yeah. You get points, but you get negative points if you knock like a trunk piece down. It's a silly game. I don't it's kind of on the potential cull pile. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because we don't play it a lot. No. It's so fun, but I don't know. I feel like we have other dexterity games at this point. Yeah. Um Again, this is the days of not very many pictures. Mm -hmm. I like that there's a, uh, oh yeah, there's a, a Tom, Tom and Melody. Tom and Melody review of <laughs> Talk Talk Woodman. With Talk Talk Woodman's a funnier name. And then, the, then there's a Bling Bling Gemstone review, oh, which is literally the same thing except like it's pink, like the bark is pink, like it's gemstones, I guess. I don't know. That 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 thing makes less sense. Um, yeah, I don't know. We do have that golden axe. We do have that. We must have hit that stretch, that stretch goal. I don't know. I feel like they kind of convoluted the rules with all like those cards and like the golden axe and the golden core. I think whenever we play, we just throw it all together. Yeah, pretty much. And just like whatever. Just positive pretty. and negative points. Yeah, like those are those cards. I don't. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Maybe we're not going to be keeping it that much longer, but it's still a cool game, and we definitely got our twenty-two dollars worth out of it. Yeah. So for sure. <laughs> all right. All right. The next one is one you've never played, and that's Rise of Cthulhu. Is it a solo one? Or no, it's a two-player two player player? game. Here's the thing. Um, it's very Lost Cities like. Okay. But the times that Grayson and I played it, I felt there was a there was a like a balance issue, right? Because I think there's it's Lost Cities in the in the idea that you're fighting over like the the center or whatever. Because okay. you know you're playing cards to each side of like the cards laid out mm -hmm. in the center. But then you have to like win so many, I think, like have in like influence. Oh, let's see, let's look at some pictures here. It was 25 bucks and it came with an expansion i think maybe maybe that's another kickstarter um the art is really cool mm -hmm. i really like the art in this game maybe we should probably try this again mm -hmm. okay. we haven't played it in a while but i felt like there was a weird balancing issue where like if you got too many like you influence too many areas quickly then like basically it might as well just stop playing because that person won no oh, i see like there wasn't like there's there was no coming back from like if you had a good start to the game, okay, or like the other person let you take over too many of the locations or whatever. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of not pictures in this one either. Um, yeah, I think we I think we need to play this again, and if we if that issue keeps happening, probably get rid of it. Okay. But I, I think I mostly backed it for the art, and again, twenty five bucks includes U.S. shipping. Nope. <laughs> I know. Unheard of. Thing. Unheard of these days. Yeah. When was this? Okay. Um, February 2016. So, well, that was last updated then. So. Oh, that's true. And so it was probably. I can't even look at that. Estimated delivery oh. is 2015. Yeah. Okay. So. Survey sent nine. Uh, you know, September 2015. Yeah. So. Yeah. So there's a 2015. Oh, actually, it does say funding period right down there. See it? Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Huh. All right. Cool. Well, there's like one pledge level too. And they and. That was eight hundred apparently. I don't know. Weird. All right. Anyway, yeah, it's a fun game, but I think I think we need to revisit it to see if it still mm -hmm. belongs in the collection. Um, the last game one for today is Kodama: The Tree Spirits. Oh, that's another one we need to revisit because we haven't played it very often. Um. Okay, but then there's the Kodama Duel, and Grayson and I have played that one a few times, right, okay. like the two-player one. Mm -hmm. But it's this is a cool game that we never play. <laughs> I like the artwork. I know, it's but like there's so something cool. about it. Like that was twenty seven dollars, with, with free shipping in the still US. not much. No, but... where you basically yeah you're you're building up this tree, and then like the objects that are on the tree branches, so you like score them back towards the tree or whatever. Yeah. Um, and another un unavailable video. Um, yeah, this game is really cool because you're literally building a flat tree like spreading out in front of you. Mm -hmm. But for whatever reason, we never play it. No, I don't know why either, but it is like I did enjoy playing it. You may have only played it the one time. I feel like it was only that one time, but, or maybe twice, but yeah, maybe. Um, something about it just it never it never hits the tape. Hmm. 
but then we, then we still back the duel and i think then we threw all the duel stuff because the duel is almost also an ex, an expansion or like like, mm-hmm. a, like an extra player yeah we only have one box so yeah it's all in one um yeah i don't know it's a fun game and it's like really cool yeah. looking we just need to revisit it but for whatever reason i love the little guys they're cute i know because there's meebles or something too right i don't i didn't see them in there uh it was a stretch goal it was a stretch goal no they definitely yeah, so oh yeah okay they're tokens. Kodama meeples and tokens yeah yeah cool game 27 bucks i mean still, it was cheap so mm-hmm. yeah all right well that, those are all our games for this week and we got one more, and you'll recognize this one. It's the Southern Boy Ice Teas. <laughs> Do you remember this? Yes. This tea was amazing. I loved this tea. And I feel like there's like he had like three Kickstarters for this. And yes. This is the first one, I think. Because or... one was listed on my Kickstarter page, too. Yeah, because I think we may have both backed it. Um, yeah, I know. I think something happened where, like he was having some like personal problems and I think he sold the company and then I think they got merged into some other company and I don't even know if that other company still exists. Cause I thought he was doing really well with these because like, look at these flavors, uh, butter beer. What is this? Coconut cream pie. I remember that. Blueberry. Like they were tea bags. So as I say, it says, you know, uh, black teas with organic flavors. It was like all natural, whatever flavoring, but they're weird flavors. Great. Yeah. Cucumber melon, cotton candy. I would and- not want cotton candy. I probably got it. <laughs> uh, maple bacon, razzleberry. Yeah, we made like a, like iced tea out of it. What well, is iced tea? Yeah. Um, I think there's a there was something about hot teas too. Oh, Vanilla okay. cola, root beer float. They were really good. There was like ten, but I don't know what They're you got for ten bucks. I don't but you don't. It you... says any four. Oh okay. So maybe I only got four on this one. But I I seem to remember the coconut cream one because obviously that's my favorite pie. So you probably would have got that for me. Yeah, probably. But it was it was awesome. It was delicious. Mm. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened, but the company doesn't exist anymore. So mm. yeah, no. Oh well. All right. So those are the uh, those are the uh, Kickstarter backs for this week. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed watching and uh, tune in next week, and you'll see even more games that I backed. All right, see you later, everybody. Hey, everybody, here we are back again with this series where we're looking at Kickstarters that I've backed over the years, starting at the very beginning. Um, I know I meant I forgot to mention it. What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you could... I didn't mean to screw you up. <laughs> it's okay. I'm like, well, what am I doing wrong? I'm just looking at you. <laughs> All right, restart.